Hi guys, I'm Emily, a year 12 student at James's Agricultural High School, and I'm presenting question 16C of the four unit mathematics extension 2 exam to you here today. So this question is asking you to minimize the distance between the point B and the line L. In part one, they want you to find the value of lambda that minimizes F lambda. F lambda represents the distance between the point and the line, which is given by this expression here. Squaring both sides will give us an expression that we can simplify. So here what we're doing is expanding everything as dot products. What this gives is a quadratic in lambda squared, which we can simplify further because we know that d dot d, which is equal to the magnitude of d vector all squared, equals 1. So because the leading coefficient 1 is positive, what this means is this parabola is concave up. So we can minimize f lambda squared and hence f lambda by using lambda equals minus b onto a. So this value of lambda would correspond to lambda naught, which is what we want to find. And simplifying this will give us b dot d minus a dot d, which we can write as d dot product b minus a. So for part two, we want to show that the vector pb is perpendicular to the line L. We can achieve that by finding the dot product between PB and L. From part one, we know that OP equals A plus lambda naught D. This gives A plus D dot product B minus A times D. This means that vector PB equals OB minus OP equals B minus A minus D dot B minus A times vector D. Now, if we want to show that vector PB is perpendicular to line L, we want to show that the dot product between PB and the direction vector of L, which is D, equals zero. Okay, expanding this gives times d dot d. And again, from, part, from the question, we know that d dot d which equals the square of the magnitude of vector d equals 1. 
what that means is this expression will simplify down to zero. Because these two terms cancel out. So therefore, PB is perpendicular to vector D. And because that's the direction vector of line L, then PB is perpendicular to L. So for part three, we want to find the minimum distance between P on the line L and B, a point on the unit sphere. So for part three, they want us to minimize the distance between the line L and a point B on the unit sphere. There are two cases for this question. One, where the line doesn't intersect with the sphere, and one where it does, so it can be either tangential or intersect with the sphere twice. So let's take a look at case one here, where the line and the sphere don't intersect. To find the distance BP, we can use BP equals magnitude of BP equals the magnitude of OP minus the magnitude of vector OB. Because we know that B lies on the unit sphere, the magnitude of vector OB must be equal to 1. So here to minimize BP, all we have to do is minimize OP. What that means is we want to find the minimum distance between line L and the origin. We can use part 1 by subbing in vector B equals 0. What this means now is that our F lambda or squared expression becomes Because vector b equals 0, taking the dot product of b with a and itself will yield 0. This is our f lambda squared expression. And we know from part 1 that f lambda naught equals d dot product b minus a. But because we set vector b equals 0, that means lambda naught equals negative a dot d. Subbing this in will give us f lambda naught all squared equals negative a dot d all squared plus 2 times a dot d times negative a dot d plus a dot a. So simplifying this expression will give us f lambda naught all squared equals a dot d squared minus 2 a dot d squared plus a dot a. This means that f lambda naught all squared equals a dot a minus a dot d all squared. So this expression represents the square of the distance between O and P. Because we want to find distance OP, we want to take the square root. Now, this square root is positive because we know that distances can't be negative. So we want to sub this expression back in here to find the minimum distance BP. So this is our final answer for the first case where the line doesn't intersect with the sphere. 
So now let's consider a point where the line intersects with the sphere, either at one point where it's tangential or two. So here we can see that the minimum distance between a point on the sphere and a point on the line must be zero at the intersection point. So this gives a minimum distance between a point on the sphere and the line is either square root of a dot a minus a dot d all squared minus one units or zero units. Hi, I'm Ms. Banala. I'm head of maths at uh, James Rose Agricultural High School. So I teach mathematics extension too here. Yeah, I am Mr. Sagaran here. I've been teaching for a long time, but uh, I've been teaching extension too at Bruce for some time now. So compared to all the papers since 2019, I think the 2025 paper is a more friendly paper. And we have seen a lot of students walking out of the hall smiling. So we are uh, very happy to see a paper like this. So it used to be the last question is the one that is a challenge to many of the students. But uh, this year, we feel a little bit different. So uh, I think that the 15, 16C is, uh, seems to be better as compared to the past. Uh, but um, the 16B took um, a longer time for our students to do. So I would probably would say the 16B uh, probably a little bit more challenge eh, as compared to 16C. Uh, apart from the rest of the paper, um, is a, uh, here and there are some, some good question, challenge question, but overall, as our head teacher says, a more friendly paper.